Uh, what is this, uh, what is this thing you do? In Cantonese, Jeet Kune Do. The way of the intercepting fist. Intercepting fist, huh? Or foot. Come on, touch me. Any way you can. You see? To reach me, you must move to me. Your attack offers me an opportunity to intercept you. In this case, I'm using my longest weapon, my psychic, against the nearest target, your kneecap. This can be compared to your left jab in boxing, except it's much more damaging. I see. Well, speaking of a left jab... Oh! This time I intercept your emotional tenseness. You see, from your thought to your fist, how much time was lost. Not much. <laughs> it's your instinct. To pray! In this position, your arms are useless. Yeah. Can you kick or stomp me? <coughs> no. Then, if you wish to survive, what do you do? I don't know. Bite. Bite? Are we not animals? <coughs> you all right? Mm. I can't find much evidence the contrary, Lee. Bite. Fighting is efficient in close quarter, but don't make a plan of fighting. That is a very good way to lose your teeth. There's so much to remember. If you try to remember, you will lose. Empty your mind. Be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. Put it into a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or creep or drip or crash. Be water, my friend. Martial arts include all the combative arts like karate, aikido, judo, Chinese kung fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it. Uh, all those. It's a combative form of fighting. I mean, it's not... Some of them became sport, but some of them are still not. I mean, they're used, for instance, kicking to the groin, jabbing fingers at the eyes and things like that. I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as, like, Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting, because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Unless we have other group of beings on Earth that are structurally different from us, then there might be a different style of fighting. Now, why is that? Because we have two hands and two legs now. The important thing is, how can we use it to the maximum in terms of path, well, straight line, curved line, uh, uh, round lines, they might be slow, but depending on the circumstances, sometimes that might not be slow. And in terms of legs, you can kick up straight, same thing, right? And after all that, then you ask yourself, how can you honestly express yourself at that moment? Really, to me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do. But if you do not have styles, if you just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, uh, as a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know? I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth. What's your style? My style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. The art of fighting without fighting? Show me some of it. Later. Now, if you are secure within yourself, you treat it very, very, very lightly. All right. Don't you think we need more room? Where else? That island, on a beach. We can take this boat. Okay. 
you ask yourself now, am I really afraid of that man? Or is that man, do I have any doubt within me that he's going to get me? But if I do not have such doubt, and if I do not have such fear, hey, are you crazy? I would certainly treat it very lightly, just as today the rain is going on strong, but tomorrow, baby, the sun is going to come out again. I mean, it's like that type of a thing. It is like a finger pointing away to the moon. Don't concentrate on the finger or you will miss all that heavenly glory. To your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now, you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now, water can flow or it can crash. Be water, my friend. Running water never grows stale. So you got to just keep on flowing. Well, Kung Fu, the best example would be a glass of water. Why? Because uh, water is the softest substance in the world, but yet it can penetrate the hardest rock or anything, granite, you name it. Um, water also is insubstantial. By that I mean you cannot grasp hold of it. You cannot punch it and hurt it. So every Kung Fu man is trying to do that, to be soft like water and flexible and adapt itself to the opponent. There are various kinds of strike. It depends on where you hit and what weapon you will be using. To the eyes, you would use fingers. Don't worry. <laughs> I will to the eyes. Or straight at the face. From the waist. Everything on. Hold it just a minute. Uh, let's move this gentleman around this way so you're doing it more in the camera. No, okay, okay, swell. And then there is band arm strike using the waist again into a back fist. And there is the finger jab. There is the punch. There is the back fist and then low. Of course, then they use leg straight at the groin or come up. Or, if I can back up a little bit, they start back from here and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It, it kind of works. All right, for instance, you will read it in a book, in a magazine and everything, that when somebody grab you, you will first do this and then this and then and then and then and then thousands of steps before you do a single thing. Of course, these kind of magazine would uh, teach you to be feared by your enemies and admired by your friends and everything. Thing. But uh, in Kung Fu, it always involves a very fast motion. Like for instance, a guy grabbing your hand. It's not the idea to do so many steps. <coughs> Step him right on the instep. He'll let go. This is what we mean by simplicity. Same thing in striking and in everything. It has to be based on a very minimum motion so that everything would be directly expressed. <coughs> one motion and he's gone doing it gracefully not to go ah yelling and jumping all over him but to do it excuse me